What up gamers, Laz here, and today we're going to quickly go through the returning Fallen Saber Grandmaster Nightfall. Not much has changed from last season, so let's not waste any time. Warning, my voice isn't feeling too well, so I apologize in advance for that. Almost exactly like last season, for the most consistent clears, we're looking at two Banner Shield Titans with Ursas and a Chaos Reach Warlock with Geomags. Other loadouts will easily work, but again, for consistency, I'm sticking to this loadout again. For weapons, I used a Fatebringer for the Overload Champs and a Truth Teller with Blinding Nades for ad control. I also used Anarchy, because we might as well use it as much as possible before it gets nerfed. One of my teammates also used a Fatebringer for the overloads, but they also used an Eternal Blazing Scout Rifle to deal with barrier champs. They too also had Anarchy. And my third teammate used a Succession Sniper Rifle, a Vouchsafe Scout to deal with barrier champs and the few Void Shields, and again, Anarchy. For mods, we ran the usual. Protective Light to help keep us alive in a pinch. Taking Charge to get us charged with light. Charged up to increase the stacks of charge with light that we had. I ran Surge Detonators for an extra overload option. I also ran Warmind's Decree and Wrath of Rasputin so my Fatebringer and Truth Teller could potentially make Warmind cells. You could also run Special Finisher to keep that green ammo stocked up. And Breach and Clear. I highly recommend that the other two people run this mod. The run is pretty much identical to last season, so I'm going to speed through this explanation. If you're looking for more detail, check out the link in the top right of the screen for my GM guide for Fallen Saber from last season. When you spawn in, sparrow towards the Warsat area, but keep in mind not to get crushed by the Warsat itself. Post up on the cliff in the back of the arena, shoot the cannons off the skiff, and abuse the range of your scout rifles. Personally, I played closer to the ship because I was using a hand cannon. At around 32% on the Warsat, an overload champ will spawn. Once the adds are clear, stand in the circle until the skiff goes away and two more spawn. Get out of the circle and post up behind the cover right next to you. Shoot off the cannons on the two new skiffs and start clearing the adds. Pop your supers to take out the barrier and the remaining adds, then jump back in the circle until the two skiffs leave. Rinse and repeat this section again, stand on the cliff in the back, abuse your range, deal with the overload that spawns, and then finish out the circle and you're on to the next room. In this room, rotate your banner shields and use your chaos reach whenever you can. There are some invisible assholes that'll run up on you and make your life a pain, so I used as much blinding nades as I could to keep the adds at bay. Once it's clear, we sent one person to open the vent and another person shot the fuse with their sniper. We set up in the back of this hallway and spawn killed the two overloads right here, then started the banner shield rotation again and clear out the room. Remember to grab any special finishers you can if your green ammo is running low. In the arc hallway, take out the sniper shanks in the back. Have two people set up shop at the door where you walked into the hallway and have one person go and grab the arc charge. Pick up the charge right when an arc bolt goes by and follow it. Spam your jump button and you'll zoom down this hallway. Dunk and push forward. Here we're doing more of the same, rotating banner shields and using that chaos reach as much as possible until the room is clear. Once clear, do a quick sweep for ammo and you're off. Again, we're rotating the banners here, using Chaos Reach on everything we can, and clearing out this room. Right before the boss room, remember to walk down this hole. Don't sprint, don't jump, and don't question it. Better to make sure that you live than to end up in a place where you can't be revived. Don't say I didn't warn you. This boss is... you guessed it, more of the same. Rotate your banner shields, use Chaos on the boss, and clearing out the adds. Once you get the boss to about half health, you can jump over to the left side and use this spot for cover. Once you're ready, hit the boss with Anarchy, pop that meme beam, and throw everything you've got until the boss dies. And Fallen Saber is a GG. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video, drop a comment below to continue the conversation, insert sub to me comment here, and Laz, out. Okay.